former Detroit Tigers play-by-play -play broadcaster Mario Mpemba has a new home after losing his Fox Sports Detroit job in the wake of a physical altercation with his co-host and analyst, Rod Allen. Allen was also fired, according to Chad Finn in the Boston Globe, and Pemba will be joining WEEI this season, as the Red Sox revamp their own booth by turning it into a rotating platoon. Joe Castiglione, who has been part of the Red Sox radio broadcast team since 1983, is back for his 37th season. But the spot vacated when Tim Neverett, who had been Castiglione's partner on WEEI's broadcasts for the past three seasons, chose not to renew his contract in December, will not be filled by a single play-by-play -play voice or analyst. Instead, WEEI is expected to announce in the next few days it will use a cast of broadcasters with Castiglione this season. According to sources with knowledge of the process, those expected to be in the mixer will Fleming, who currently calls Peduck at Red Sox games, and Mario Mpemba, a longtime Tigers broadcaster who was fired, along with analyst Rod Allen, in September after an altercation in the booth. Red Sox president of baseball operations Dave Dombrowski wrote the foreword to Mpemba's book. The move ties together two of the more interesting baseball broadcast booth stories from last year. Obviously when a play-by-play -play man fights an analyst, that's up there, but we also had the brief drama over WEEI reportedly considering a format change in an effort to develop more of a sports radio feel, which led to the departure of Red Sox play-by-play -play man Tim Neverett. That format change idea was quickly denied, but WEEI has certainly tweaked things, going to a rotating cast of play-by-play -play broadcasters and analysts. Analysts who will join Castiglione at times to be part of a three-person booth will include WEEI's Rob Bradford and Lou Merloni and Boston Sports Journal's Sean McAdam. At least one other former Red Sox player besides Merloni may be part of the rotation. NESN's Tom Karen may also call a game on radio once in a while. And one source suggested that Sean McDonough, the outstanding Red Sox television voice from 1988 to 2004, could call an occasional game. That would be a coup for WEEI, but he is under contract at ESPN. He did not respond to messages seeking comment. Neverett, meanwhile, has moved on to the Dodgers. The rotating booth is pretty clearly an effort to avoid routine for listeners, shaking things up with different pairings throughout the season. It also makes things a bit tougher for the broadcasters, of course. But maybe it helps avoid the built-up friction that can lead to, say, broadcast partners fighting each other. Boston Globe, NFL recently retired NFL tight end Ben Watson is known as one of the most thoughtful players in the by Matt Yoder on Feb 13, 2019 NFL ESPN is already seeing increased interest from advertisers. By Ken Fang on Feb 13, 2019 viewing picks the UEFA Champions League round of 16 continues on Galavision, TNT and Univision Deportes by Ken Fang on Feb 13, 2019 NBA Kevin McHale was reminded of a valuable lesson on Tuesday night. Never assume that Mike isn't hot. As by Sean Keeley on Feb 12, 2019 Racing Eds will be on Fox and NBC affiliates in nearly 20 markets. By Philip Bupp on Feb 12, 2019 NCAA The Machines Are Taking Over. By Jay Rigdon on Feb 12, 2019 NFL Recently Retired NFL Tight End Ben Watson is known as one of the most thoughtful players in the Matt Yoder on Feb 13, 2019 NFL ESPN is already seeing increased interest from advertisers. By Ken Fang on Feb 13, 2019 viewing picks the UEFA Champions League round of 16 continues on Galavision, TNT and Univision Deportes by Ken Fang on Feb 13, 2019 NBA Kevin McHale was reminded of a valuable lesson on Tuesday night. Never assume that Mike isn't hot. As by Sean Keeley on Feb 12, 2019 Racing Eds will be on Fox and NBC affiliates in nearly 20 markets. By Philip Bupp on Feb 12, 2019 NCAA The Machines Are Taking Over. By Jay Rigdon on Feb 12, 2019.